It is time to expand minds through movies, TV, sports, and flicks. It is time to boldly go where no podcast has gone before. It is time for the Captain Talks Flicks. The Captain, the Captain Talk, Talk Licks. 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 Welcome to the Captain Talks Licks Podcast. I'm your host, the Captain Cortez, aka Mr. Love, and this is where we talk flicks. I walk in the podcast, podcast where me, the Captain, talks about movies, TV, sports, flicks, anything you can see in the tuber screen. I like to get on here, give my unique perspective, because after. 47 years of being on planet Earth, I've developed new perspective by this movie, TV, sports, and flicks, and I'd like to get an antenna about it. Because just maybe, just maybe you care. In accord to the stats, it looks like you do care. I want to give a big shout out to the Philippines. Got some plays over the Philippines this past week. Gracias, gratitude, todo raba. In Philippines, like I said last episode, I made adobo and it was so good. If you missed last episode, that's what I talked about. I talked about how I made adobo and it was so delicious. Philippines, oh, that food, that food, oh my gosh. I'm falling in love with the adobo. The adobo was so good. I'm in love with the adobo. It's great. <laughs> so anyways, thanks for listening. I appreciate it. see gratitude. And just FYI. Back in the day, I went to school to be a radio DJ, but never got a job. I think I never got a job because I never ate adobo. If I just would have ate adobo, that would have given me the energy to become a radio DJ. But it didn't. It didn't allow me to become the greatest podcaster in the Matrix. Some to debate might be true, might not be true. But I said it on the internet, so it's got to be true, right? Because everything on the internet is facts, not facts, true, false, propaganda, fake news, the matrix, onions, lettuce, tomato, bacon, cheese, on a sesame seed bun. I don't know. I didn't make the internet. Ask the people that made the internet. So when you're online, just be worried, just watch out. Anyways, I could ramble all day, but I won't. Let's get right into the podcast. But first, a word from our sponsor. Ladies and gentlemen, no sponsors this week. What the captain wants to do this week is give you a gift. Give you the gift of music. So for all my loyal podcast listeners, and also the new listeners, I am giving my album, Frequent Frequencies, with my unique rap rhyme style over crazy sci-fi spacey beats. For free, over my Bandcamp page, I'll put the link below. So if you want something new to spin, to download, to add to your musical collection, Go over to my Bandcamp page. It's yours for free. My gift to you. And let me tell you this. I guarantee you. I guarantee you. You have never, ever, ever heard sounds, music like this in your life. Guarantee. Go check it out. Put the link below. And, and you hear it like, yeah, you're right. And that may be good. It might not be good. I don't know. But I promise you. You want to hear something you never heard before? Hit the link below. Check out Frequent Frequencies over at Bandcamp. And hear me just rap rhyme to crazy, spacey sound beats like you've never heard before. So check the link now. Let's get on the podcast. Ladies and gentlemen, I am back again. Just got done doing some bag work. I was watching UFC, got me motivated. I said, today for training, we doing bag work and we going hard. I went hard, bro. I walked the line of madness to become the baddest. I definitely went hard in that bag. I was talking a lot of mess, hitting that bag, moving, bobbing, weaving, hitting, bang, 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 boom, 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 boom. That's yeah, going hard in the bag. And I feel absolutely magnificent because of that. So, next, thanks for joining me. And this week, I'm going to talk about my most favorite, 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 favorite franchise in the entire universe. And if you've been here before, you know what I'm going to say. But if you haven't, let me tell you. Let me tell you what my favorite franchise in the universe is. It is the one, the only, Star Trek. And this week, I'm going to talk about Star Trek Picard. Imposters. This episode was absolutely magnificent yes it was 
Now, before I get in the podcast, a couple things. First of all, there will be spoilers. And second of all, I do own some shares in the parent company of Star Trek. Just wanted to let you know to be clear and transparent. So now that I've told you that, let's get into Star Trek Picard Imposters. I said last episode, it may have been the greatest episode of Trek ever made. Fast forward to Imposters. I mean, these episodes are fantastic. So after watching Picard for like the first, what, four or five episodes? I think it's five episodes now. Oh, um, basically, this feels like the next generation, but like Game of Thrones or something, right? Or or like or like like Breaking Bad Star Trek or Game of Thrones Star Trek. All those epic shows you've seen on TV over the last decade. You know the big name ones that everyone was watching? Last of Us Star Trek. Whatever words you want, whatever show you want to use, it's basically like they did that, but did it with Star Trek. It's what it's like. I mean, that's basically what's going on. So any big name show you've heard in the last decade, it's basically like they took Star Trek and did that to it, right? And when you do that, you get absolutely fantastic TV. This Trek is like possibly the best Trek ever made. I know since Discovery came out, I say it all the time. It's like in the UFC when they say this card is stacked and this may be the best card we've ever had. It's the same thing with Star Trek. Like every time they just keep bringing it and bringing it. And I keep saying this may be the best episode ever. This is one of the greatest because they just keep making great TV like I said last week. Like they've just been bringing it like Discovery, Lower Decks, uh, Prodigy, Strange New Worlds, Picard, bro. I mean, they just keep bringing good Trek. It's just unbelievable, masterful, magnificent shows. And this was no different. Now, ladies and gentlemen, I'm about to get into some spoilers because in Imposters, a blast from the past appeared. If you've seen the episode, you know exactly what I'm talking about. The blast from the past was Ro Laren. If you've seen The Next Generation, you know who this character is and you know what happened. And just to see her on the screen and to kind of continue that story from way back in the day, oh, it was, it was just masterful. I did not expect to see her in this show at all. I was not expecting it. I've been doing some thinking about what we see, what we're going to see, what what we're going to encounter, what we're going to experience in the show, in this this, this season. And I'm like, did not expect that. And then how they used her in the story and 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 the conversation between her and Picard was something I did not expect to be seen. And it was magnificent. They resolved what happened from uh, Next Generation. I'm going to go rewatch that episode now just to kind of refresh exactly what did happen. Because, you know, I, I kind of know when they kind of went over the show. But I want to watch again just to kind of refresh my mind. So anyways, oh, it was wonderful. And one additional thing. Ro Laren, guess what she works for? Ro Laren, she works for Starfleet Intelligence, bro. bro. They just keep weaving Starfleet Intelligence into this tale. I've been telling you guys for years that I want them to blend Spycraft spies with Star Trek. And they've done that. They've done that with Picard. And they've done it in a great way. It's not some cheesy way where they're trying to force it together. It has been woven together so beautifully. Intelligence, the Picard show, just a very finely woven tale. It's so wonderful. And like I said last episode, the episode before, whatever episode I said, I cannot wait for the Section 31 show to come out because this is just showing the potential of that show. Like, I just, I want to see more tales from Starfleet Intelligence. I, just, I really do. Section 31, I'm into all oh, this. is going to be a great show. This may be kind of a build up to that. I don't even know where they're going to go with this show. I don't know who's going to show up. I don't know what character's going to show up. I don't know what direction it's going to go. I don't know how they're going to resolve the plot. I mean, the plot is basically, there's a bunch of changelings that's penetrated Starfleet at the highest levels. And nobody knows who to trust. That's what they explore in this episode more. Like, I don't know who to trust. Can I trust them? Can I trust them? Can they trust me? We don't trust each other. I mean, because there's, there's imposters everywhere. There's fake, there's fake, there's false everywhere. Who do you trust? I can't trust you. And they go deep. And then Picard and Ro Laren, because of their history, we're able to trust each other because there's just certain things there's certain things when you know somebody from back in the day that you share that you just can't replicate you can't fabricate you just can't do that there's some there's some authentic connection that was built over time that you just can't look up in a book you just can't pretend to know you some things you just gotta know and they explored that and found that common ground and they gained each other's trust so they can go ahead and try to tackle this threat to the federation 
Yeah, so so in TV in the last couple weeks, as I've been watching it, this trust thing's been showing up a lot. So two of the themes really in the in the landscape of the shows I've been watching, not just Picard, but other shows, have been like babies, kids, sons, daughters, whatever, you know, the uh, your, your kids, and like trust. I've been seeing it all over the place. And it's like, I'm like, what is the universe trying to tell me, right? Are you trying to tell me I have a baby? Are you, are you trying to tell me that maybe, Captain, you have to trust a woman and have a baby. Gain some trust and have a baby. Is that what the universe is telling me? I don't even know. I'm not really sure what to make of it. But these themes keep coming up. They keep being explored. So I'm just going to watch these shows, explore the idea, look deep into my mind, take a couple days off just to think and explore these concepts and see what exactly is the universe telling me. Who knows? Maybe the captain will have a kid. <laughs> And I'm going to name him Jean-Luc, I told you guys. Right? But it all starts with trust. You got to trust the significant other, the novia, the novia, the girlfriend. You have to trust, to build a trust, build rapport, build connection. And then soon after that, you can have a baby. <laughs> but anyways, Picard is absolutely fantastic. It is so wonderful. If you've ever watched Star Trek The Next Generation, you need to see this. I'm just saying, if you've seen any of it and you like Next Generation, you need to see this. So whatever you gotta do, check it out. I highly recommend it. I know there's a lot of options for what you can watch on the screen these days. There's a lot, but make time in your schedule. Take a moment when you got some downtime to enjoy the journey of Picard because it might be one of the last ones we see in a long time or ever possibly. So yeah. So anyways, another fantastic episode of Picard. Love it so much. And I can't wait to see what happens next. I mean, that's I mean that's kind of a, a mark of a good television show. It's like, you're excited and can't wait to see what's going to happen next. I got to see. I got to know. I, what's going to happen, bro? I don't even know. I need to know this. Tell me now. I got to know what happens. <laughs> so anyways, fine episode. Thanks for joining me. Appreciate guys' gratitude. And until next time, we'll see. I hated every minute of training, but I said, don't quit. Suffer now. And live the rest of your life a champ. Muhammad Ali. Until next time, it's Captain B. The Captain, the Captain Talks, Talks Flicks. Flicks.